3D Tinkerbell Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zero Polish. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be working on my 3D Tinkerbell nail art design, which I think is so cute. I was obsessed with Tinkerbell for the longest time, so I was pretty excited to work on this one. I hope you like it as well, and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. For the background, I'm going to use a dark glittery blue to look like the night sky, and so I'm going to start by placing a bead near the cuticle, pressing it up into the rounded shape of the cuticle, and then brushing it down and adding another bead to fill in the tip. And the reason I'm using this dark glittery blue, as I mentioned, it does look like the night sky, but also when you're doing the silhouette of Tinkerbell with the white, it's really going to add a nice contrast, and that white silhouette is going to show up very, very well. If you were to use a lighter color in the background, I would suggest doing a black silhouette instead of white. So now I'm going to add a layer of clear acrylic over the nail to add some strength and give it um, a nice strong apex and also protect the glitter from the blue beneath. So now I'm going to be filing it with a 180 grit file just to remove any lumps, bumps, or imperfections and also to smooth out the surface so that it's easier to paint on and then I'm going to buff it with a 240 grit padded buffer once again smooth up the surface make it easy to paint on and then you definitely want to remove the dust so get it exactly how you want it and then just give it a wipe all right so now with some white acrylic paint as I did mention I'm going to be painting the silhouette of Tinkerbell and so I'm going to start with her head and then add her hair and her bun I like to start with what I think of as her spine going down and then add her chest and then add her skirt and one thing that I do want to say is that I intended to paint her smaller than I did. She ended up being quite um, a bit larger than I had originally intended. So if you want to, I would maybe shrink her down a little bit just so that she didn't seem so huge on the nail. So then you're going to want to add both of her arms, one going forward with her wand and the other one going backwards and then adding her wings. Apply a layer of gel sealer to protect that acrylic paint and add a shine and cure it. So now with some white acrylic, I'm going to start and I'm going to sculpt the shape of her face and her neck. And the reason I'm using white instead of just going in with a nude or a cover color is because if you put a nude over the dark blue, it's going to show the dark blue through it, making her look kind of battered and bruised, which is what we want. So if you add the white underneath it, it creates sort of a blank slate or a blank canvas to make the rest of her face. So you want to keep this nice and thin, um, but thick enough that it doesn't let any of that blue show through. So now I'm going to be using a brown tone cover pink, and I'm going to basically just add another layer of acrylic over all that white we just put down. And um, this one is definitely going to be a little bit thicker though. So I'm going to add it over her face first and sort of make sure to tuck it in on the side so that it doesn't run all over the place. And then I'm going to add a little bit over her neck And then I'm going to be switching to my 3D brush and I'm going to get some monomer on it and then I'm going to press in where her eye sockets are. This is just going to help you sculpt her face shape later on. So first press in her eye sockets and then if you want you can also do a little bit underneath her cheekbones. So now with some more of that cover color I'm going to thicken up her nose and um, the tip of her nose and the bridge of her nose. And then I'm going to be adding her hair with yellow. So when you do her hair with yellow, it's going to take probably a little bit, and I like to do it in sections, as I like to do everything. I don't, personally, when I'm sculpting things out of acrylic, I don't like to place one large bead and then try to work really fast to get it into the shape I want. I would much rather do it in a couple smaller sections and have more time and not have to rush and feel like I am struggling to get the shape that I'm going for. So as you can see, I did the top section right above like where her forehead is, and then I did down around one ear, and then I did her bun, and I'm going around on the other side of her face. And I haven't even started on the section of where her bangs are that go over her forehead. So that is what I'm doing now, and so I'm going to pull down one section. She's got a thicker section of her bangs that kind of go comes to a point right between her eyes, so that's the first one that I like to do. And then I'm going to just add some more acrylic here and there, and if you take the edge of your brush and you just sort of drag it through the acrylic to kind of create that hair texture it's going to add more dimension and more shape as you can see i just did that there just you don't want our hair to be so smooth you want it to have some shape and some interest and so then i'm going to switch to acrylic paint and i'm going to start by painting her eyes i'm um, just the outline with black and then her eyebrows or what at least shows of them underneath her bangs 
and her eyes don't have to be perfect at this point um, you can always touch them up with either some white or whatever color you have or if you really do completely destroy them you could paint over her face with just a new tone paint and cover up all your black and give it another go so I'm gonna add her two eyes like I said just the little bits of her eyebrows that do show from underneath her hair and then switching to brown paint I'm going to outline her nose give her a nostril define the area from her chin to her neck and then do a couple little outlines on her hair so I'm just going to separate some of those sections and define them further and then with white I'm going to fill in her eyes And this is where if you see that there was a problem with the shape of her eyes, it's going to be a good time to adjust that. And then add the color in her eyes with a light blue. Add her red lips. And I'm sorry that my camera decided to focus on my hand instead of the nail. And then going back through with black, I'm going to touch up the outlines of her eyes. If I need to, you may not have to. I'm going to define her eyelashes, give her a pupil and add a line between her lips just to separate those. Add a little reflection with white in her eyes, and then place some matte top coat over the top of anywhere where you have acrylic paint. So basically, over Tinkerbell herself. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this design. Please share any recreations with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I would love to see them, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.